So I wanted to quickly go over how to implement a independent samples t-test in Jamovi, um, which is a statistical software that makes things much easier and you don't have to do much by hand. And um, there are instructions for downloading Jamovi for free in the uh, syllabus. So instead of having your data in two columns like this, we're gonna need to rearrange the data. Um, so what we'll do is simply highlight and copy this column of data right underneath the last value in column one. And make note of the fact that sample one ends at case 21. And we're gonna put the number one here to indicate that these data are from sample one. And these data on to the end are from sample two. So if we move that over into Jamovi by simply copying those two columns, we should have this. And this first column, we wanna double click on to set it up. And this is a continuous variable. Um, and we wanna set up column two. And this is a nominal variable because the number here only indicates group membership, group one, let's call group one and group two or number two, we'll call group two. So those are our two samples. So now to run that t-test that we just did by hand, we simply click on, well, let's just relabel this one as dependent variable. And let's call this group or sample. So we go to t-tests and we click on independent samples t-test. And it can take a minute to load. Once it does, this is what we should see. So our dependent variable We'll move over to the box that says dependent variables. And our grouping variable variable will now be sample. Move that over here. So let's select students t-test, which is the one we calculated earlier. Um, we want a mean difference. Let's get the effect size. So that should be that Cohen's D. And our Null hypothesis is that group one is not equal to group two. Or rather, our research hypothesis is that group one is not equal to group two. Um, let's request confidence intervals and descriptive statistics and descriptive plots. So this gives you everything that you just calculated very quickly. We get our T statistic, negative 0.34, the degrees of freedom, which is 48, and our P value of 0.7, which we determined earlier was not significant. And we also get the mean difference between the two groups, which is negative 0.2. And you can even look at that on a graph here. So group one and group two didn't really differ very significantly. Um, and it even gives you an effect size estimate, Cohen's D. And that's how easy it is to implement a independent samples t-test in Jamovi as compared to doing it by hand in Excel. Notice that these values might be slightly different than what you calculated by hand because of rounding. Um, but that is how 
you implement independent samples t-test in a statistical package as opposed to in Excel. Hope that helps.